All right, here's my recap of the S&P 500. Uh, got down, gave me a good feel on some options. Got pretty much got lucky, trailed out uh, up here as the spread break, break the little red. Told me there was not going to be a, a gap fill on this day. Came down, took a false breakdown type of setup here at this level. Once I saw some consolidation, move above the green candle, and I thought it was going to retake at least this level and climb up. As it turns out, that did not happen. Could have got my stop loss a little bit tighter, uh, but this is where I closed out for a small loss. Later on today, saved my ass on the S&P anyways, and took a breakdown trade once I noticed an H cell set up here um, below this 237 level. Got in some calls, of, or excuse me, it's close to 46, closed out around 83 for a decent gain there. Now the live part of the S&P 500 and what's going on here. Um, today, fear took over the market. Um, there's no other way to explain what happened other than that. Sure, the news come in, comes into play, whatever's happened with Trump, uh, whatever's happened with North Korea, whatever's happened with the banks, um, whatever it was, fear came into the markets. And when fear comes into the markets, you get large move to, moves down, then you do up. You can see there was a tremendous amount of participants in the market today. 172 million shares traded when the average over the 10 days been around 60 to 7. I mean, that's, that's huge. Uh, this confirms that there was bearishness in the market related to that fear and we have gap down through every significant moving average i have on my chart and that the majority of traders look at the eight period exponential 21 and now the 50. if price falls below this 50-day simple moving average at 236.70 um, i do expect us to continue down much lower possibly even into the bottom of this range at 232. the plan that i had as far as a inverted head and shoulders head and shoulder head shoulder and a move up is pretty much now void um, patterns do fail, like I said, and once you have to uh, wait for confirmation to take an entry. So, since I was not overly bullish on that pattern, I uh, was not hurt very badly. You know, with all of that said, uh, things have changed, and when they do change as a trader, you have to be able to willingly admit you're wrong and go with what price action is doing. Now, where we are, we are well below every one of the dark pool prints. We had roughly 25 million late reports come in from 2420 today uh, yesterday was about 5 million and the previous day was another 5 million so that's now 35 million at 24020 uh, in addition to all the late prints that were at 23850 and 23750 so we are well below every one of those levels which to me is starting to imply that we are actually at a top even if only temporary um, what will likely happen is that these big institutions or whoever they may be had orders just sitting there and they were not reported until every bit of them was simply closed out and absorbed by all of retail buyers and smaller traders. Whoever it was, somebody's holding the bag. And this was the result of everyone trying to get out at once. And they're probably still not all out and will likely get some more continuation down in addition to shorts and bears wanting to actually open new positions. So uh, the only level that I will be looking at is a short versus this 236.75. Let me go ahead and throw this on here for this intraday time frame. I'm going to make it red so I know exactly what it's for. And I'm going to extend it over so I can see it clearly. That's going to be the only level that I'm looking at for a potential short. You move above, I will look for a reclaim back below. When you move up into it, I will look at it as resistance. If I do not get a fill there, no big worries. Um, I'm still bullish on the market. I'm bullish on Apple. Uh, however, this candle just tells me that there is a lot of fear in the market now and will likely come down here. Once we get down here, I will be looking for supports around 232. Now, that's going to be what I'm looking for going forward. And I'll go ahead and put my notes on here. I think. Puts, stop loss above, and overall target. I'm actually going to put 232, even though that is very far away. When fear takes over, these can make big moves down. No long trades for the S&P for me at the moment, so we'll see what happens going forward. I'm just going to target my places and try and be an accurate sniper as possible.